Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back to Beatlemania. Uh, I don't feel bad about spamming MP here just because... Uh, or spamming MP attacks here just because, well, we're not going to fight a boss anytime soon. And now we can take these guys down. Oh wow, those uh, Antorians don't have much range. So yeah, keeping them in the back... Uh, and if they're targeting people in the back... Yeah, it's going to be difficult for them. I'm okay with that. All right. Oh, a treasure. That's that's not the kind of treasure I wanted to have. We're all confused. We're well. Nash is thunder bombing. I like that little dance or whatever Alex is doing. Uh, okay, Luna is back to her senses, and so is Nash. These are Giga Wasps. Um, I want Nash to not die. I want Alex to not be confused. Uh, it's supposed to target an enemy zone, but it's so limited. Um... Can I confuse them? Let's find out. I confused one of them. I'm down with that. Alright, we fixed Alex. Let's finish these guys off. Which, uh, okay, there we go. Which means that was a pretty wasteful explosion staff. But that's okay. After all that confusion, I wanted to make sure they weren't going to be able to team up on me. Uh, so yeah. Since there's no boss time in this area, I guess, uh, the game feels it's okay to do nasty things like that. Um... I'm not going to bother healing Alex, because he'll... Oh my gosh, what is that thing? Well, it's a new enemy graphic on the main screen, and it's a new... Well, it's a Mud Cyclops. Of course it is. I feel like these are going to be resistant to something. Are they resistant to thunder? It seems like they should be. Uh, no, they're really not. They have high defense, though. And they can't move super far. And they have a fire breath attack. Uh, well, let's see how you deal with fire. Not that well. It wasn't, like, super effective or anything, but, uh, effective enough. Ah, uh, do I heal Alex or... Yeah, I'm gonna heal Alex. We have plenty of MP for Luna. He'll be fully restored at the beginning of the next battle. Oh, 50 silver. Hooray. And a dead end. Not hooray. Oh, you're you're slow and easy to run around, but we're gonna fight you anyways. Because, well, we could use the experience. Nash especially, oh my gosh. Death Mutt Um hmm. Explosion staff not doing a whole lot of good here. Uh Luna, see what you can put to sleep. 
And Nash, see what you can thunder bomb. Ah, you can thunder bomb all of them. Very good. The most efficient use of thunder bomb you will probably see. Efficient use of Alex's attacks as well. All right, let's see what's weak to being put to sleep. Um, nothing. Did you just lick me? Is that like some sort of flame lick? That was mildly disturbing. Okay, uh, let's start dealing with these death mutts. Well, that wasn't tough. Pen needle. Yeah, it missed. Yeah, you'll definitely want that uh, regen ring on Alex there. Uh, did it just get darker? Or was that just me? Oh, it's this battle again. Well, we know how to deal with this battle, and we also know how not to deal with this battle. I wonder if I could drop a confusion on all of them. Yeah, that's okay. I'm more interested in uh, Thunder Bomb. Although, this is the game that started me using uh, buffs in battle, like the attack and defense boosters, mainly the attack boosters. And you fire cane over there. Yeah, because until that point, I had always thought that those sorts of abilities were just a waste of time. Like, why spend a turn just buffing uh, attack or defense? when I could just spend that turn dealing damage to the enemy. And the first that's why I like the first boss battle in the PSP version, because that totally changed my perspective on not just how to uh, not just using buffs in this particular game, but in RPGs in general. Uh, the original Final Fantasy was also a big uh, factor in that. Okay, so really, it's those things that need to die. Check this out. Thank you. Well, at least one of them is down. And Luna shot the correct ant. Although Alex is having ant problems. But we can finish up this battle quite handily. Yeah, that formation is best dealt with uh, by Nash's Thunder Bomb and then just uh, follow up attacks with. Alex and Luna. Oh, there is. We do have to go that way. Things just get lighter. I I swear I'm not imagining this. All right, I'll battle you two. Ooh, a new formation. A new deadly formation is what it is. An explosion staff, yeah, the hit zone on that is just not very good. Ah, uh, the hit zone on Thunderbomb is not very good here. Uh, so let's just take down the moths. Wow. Okay. That was actually, um, very productive. Yeah, using that fireball ability does not cost any MP, so I'm not too worried about it. 
I'm also not super worried about healing Alex um, post battle. Nash, however, you do want to be healing post battle. I mean, Luna's got plenty of MP. Yeah, you see how much uh, damage they're dealing to our mages, so you don't want them taking a lot of shots. I am totally turned around here. Beetles! And Torians. Really? I'm not going to spend Thunder Bombs here. Nash is starting to get low on MP, so uh, I do want to be mindful of that. And these guys aren't that tough. I'm surprised Luna didn't take that one out. Okay, well, you attack the top one. And you just finish off the bottom one there. Yeah, Fire Cane is really nice. There's no reason for Nash to ever use a physical attack. Even though I know we've done that, but it, that's not something we're going to continue to do. Uh, okay, that path looks like progress. That looks like a beetle. We'll fight the beetle. Well, the Antorians. Explosion Staff. I think Explosion Staff does more as far as like a left and right uh, radius rather than a uh, up and down. It's weird. Very weird. Uh, the Thunder Bomb. That hits everyone. And Alex will take down two of them. Luna might take down a third. Yes. Hit Alex. That's fine. I'm pretty sure, though, if a character does not equip the Fire Cane, that they don't get to use the Fire Cane, like, as an item in battle. I'm gonna go down this way first, because that other path looks like it's, uh, the exit. I'm not quite ready to exit yet. Mud Cyclops. These guys... a little bit of an issue. Check this out. As much crap as I give Nash for uh, his personality in that, I am glad that, you know, the characters in this game do have unique personalities, and I love how they talk with each other. Like, it's, it's not just an instant group of friends, and they're all going to go and, uh, you know team up and they're all instant buddies and they're fighting for the cause of just and good but it's it's like they have they have their own dynamics to them and it's it's really enjoyable ha ah, treasure it's just a herb ha ah, treasure that's not treasure that's confusion mist I don't like Confusion Mist. Oh, no, at least he's Thunder... Ow. Oh, uh, really, Alex? Uh, well, at least Alex escaped. Uh, who are you targeting with? It? Really? Um, okay, Nash... You can start taking these guys down. I don't think I can get Alex back into this battle. Oh, not Sleeping Powder, no! 
Um. This is bad. I better heal up Nash. I have a feeling that he's going to get attacked. Called it. Uh, okay. We need to heal Nash. And Nash just needs to use the fire cane and take these down one at a time. No, no sleeping powder. Uh, same tactic. Yeah, these confusion battles are always uh, a crapshoot. And I remember the first time playing this game, I actually got a uh, game over or two from these, from those treasures. And there's not a ton you can do when everybody is confused. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cure up Luna there. Oh, we missed that treasure up above. Oh, uh, we're having issues here. Nash, you don't have a ton of Thunder Bombs left. Actually, this is your last Thunder Bomb. Ouch. You're not going to reach... Wow, you actually reached him. You're not going to reach Luna. No way. Okay, so you do that, you do that, you don't have magic. And we're fine. Sort of. I might have to start using Explosion Staff a bit more, or just Alex's magic in general. Although if, if Alex's magic isn't hitting more than one person, or one monster, it's probably not going to do any worse than just his normal double attack would. Fifty silver. Okay, well, every little bit helps. Plus, we already have those relics that uh, cost 12,000 silver. So there is that to keep in mind. And West takes us to the Nanza Bazaar, but there was one other little path down here where there's nothing. Okay, to the Nanza Bazaar. And there's, there's a healing spot somewhere around here. Well, he instantly believed us. I mean, granted, he has, you know, decent reason to not want to uh, reject us and then have Galleon come back and and be all angry. Oh, what's, uh, what's this? Um, okay. Well, this should be interesting. Yeah, we have to go to, uh, Lawn there, and, yeah, we're gonna refill. Nanza's the intersection that 
connects a lot of places. <laughs> yes, nice observation, no? And while well, that's the path we have to take, let's uh, go exploring this place. Because there's people to talk to. Jessica. Hmm, this is the same Jessica who's the daughter of, uh, Master Mel. <laughs> oh, I love the commentary. I... Yeah, let's, uh, oh boy. Is this a... yeah, this is a path. This place is a little bit confusing. Um... It, you can interpret that however you decide. Uh... you can also interpret that however you decide. I wonder if we're going to go see this wonderfully tan Kyle. Oh, well, the second strongest man at thumb wrestling? Uh, okay. Oh boy. Well, if she's her, his ex girlfriend, why would she care if. if he's holding hands with another girl? Nash always has to put his two cents in. <laughs> oh. A hard day robbing. Okay, well, let's see what else there is. Yep, we're. Oh, Andy's stealing food. Hmm. And, oh, do you see what I see? It's another one of those locked treasures. Oh, that's kind of likey. Hey, we've run into him. Huh. It's nice to know he's still floating around somewhere. Village of Aluk. Yep, that's a place we're eventually going to go to. The ultimate inflatable what? Don't anybody answer that. Fresh fish. Um, okay. Uh, I want to go up one more level before I forget about this place. Yeah, we have a guy up here to talk to. Oh, the Guardian of Knowledge. That's a really odd thing to do. That's what I was thinking too, Luna. But, uh, 
yeah, we're we're not gonna go there yet. Hmm. Interesting thought. They're good people, except when they steal stuff for a living. Yes, a very strange way. Oh, is there really nothing up here? Oh, that's lame. And this takes us back down... Well, to there. This takes us back down to here. Oh, we didn't see this area yet. I am never seeing you children in my prison. Yeah, that's not... That's not even grammatically correct. Yes, threaten a guy that has the power to throw you in jail. You are please going? Uh, well, everyone's already a thief and not getting arrested for it, so... It, well, I'd say who are they throwing in jail, but apparently no one. Swank. Well, it's good to know the boss is... And no, I'm not Kyle. Well, it's good to know uh, Kyle is swanky and has a good tan. Yep, those are the important takeaways from this video. Hmm, yeah. Really? Yes, thank you, Luna, for keeping things in perspective. I think this just takes us back to, yeah, back to him. Alright, I think we've talked to almost everyone in the village. Did I talk to you? Oh, yes, you transport good goods. Um, okay. Well, so you get your eye candy. Oh, hey, he has a picture. Uh, this would be Kyle. Uh, who's apparently drunk. Well. Um, I will choose to fight the monsters and gain experience and level up so I can kill them even easier. How's that for a strategy? Uh, I think we are pretty much ready to continue to the left, except we haven't talked to this guy. Yeah, uh, avoid to the south. In fact, they won't even let us through that gate down there. So we do have to go to the west, and um, what's he say? Oh, yes. Uh, really? Those are two very different things to jump to. Kyle's permission. Well, then it shouldn't be hard to get him to agree. Alright, well, we'll have to do that next time.